Sebastian here, bringing you a quick unboxing and time-lapse build of the LEGO Star Wars B-Wing Starfighter, set 75050, also known as my most favorite ship in all of Star Wars. It also comes with three minifigures. It comes with the Grey Leader Pilot, Ten Num, and General Aaron Kraken, and it measures about just over 15 inches tall and just over a foot wide when fully assembled and the wings are deployed. Let's get to helping the Rebel Alliance by building one of these bad boys. All right, guys, here we go. We've got the front of the box. And I'm going to flip this around for you. We've got the back of the box here. I've already trimmed the tape for us. 75050. Very, very cool stuff. Let's see what is inside. First off, the instruction booklet, the sticker sheet that will be necessary to complete this. All right, here we go. guys now that that is all done let's take a look at the minifigures uh, we've got 10 num here actually a very nice print on the front and back of the body some nice print here on the legs he comes with a wrench and his helmet also has a very nice print on that as well runs all the way along the helmet he also has a reversible head with his pilot's mask on or a gas mask next up we've got the nameless gray squadron pilot he has his blaster more really nice printing on the uh, torso and legs also on the helmet this looks really really good I love the print on his face that looks like the visor of the helmet he also does have a secondary head on the back just uh, just tough looking face and lastly general Aaron Kraken Got nice print, one of the pockets on the legs. He has the generic blaster, Hans blaster, I believe is the same thing they use. But uh, the only difference is from the other two minifigs is that he does not have a swappable head. You know, there's no alternate face on this, just the generic stern face. Love the microphone and earpiece he's got on. Very, very cool stuff. Finally, the B-Wing Starfighter itself. I love this set. Now, uh, this vent up here does indicate that this is the top side. The opposite side of this is not the exact same. It is missing this vent that allows it to sit really nice in the landing position here. But I think this is really cool. The cockpit doesn't free swing of its own weight, but I do enjoy that it does sit in pretty much any position that you do leave it. So the next thing for me is to figure out a way to get a stand to hold this up and display it with the wings open now. The Ultimate Collector's series set, which was Magnitudes, more expensive, had a stand that you built and it had a really cool plaque on the bottom that described uh, the ship manufacturer, all the cool in-universe information. But for the price you pay, I don't think this can be beat, but I am biased because this is my favorite ship. I love even the simple decals. They run along top here. They run along the back. 
the really, really simple, effective way to sort of do the engine intake, and then the engines on the back. Very, very, very cool stuff. It does come with the plastic missiles uh, that a lot of the Star Wars sets come with, but I don't usually care for those as they get lost, and sometimes they fire off at random. The cockpit does open. Very nice, and it's got a nice printed piece. All right, guys, now that we've got the ship all constructed, we've shown off uh, the minifigures. I wanted to give you a better sense of scale for how large this is. It's 15.8 inches tall and 12.6 inches wide with the wings fully deployed. And I think the ship is really, really nice. Apart from not having a stand to display this with the wings deployed, I love this set and I also love this ship, so I'm a little bit biased, but I absolutely think this is gorgeous. The cockpit spins 360 degrees and will stay for the most part in any position that you uh, decide to leave it in, if you leave it landed or if you figure out a way to get this uh, standing upright. I love the engines on the back. I love the the blasters and the bottom set of guns and all the fine detailing. I love the front intake here. I love the use of stickers. It keeps it very, very minimal, but very nice. And I think that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video and want to see more, hey, give me a like, hit the subscribe and leave a comment down below. I want to hear what your favorite starship is from the entirety of the Star Wars universe. Hey, that includes Expanded Universe too. so if it's from a game or if it's from a book or a comic, let me know. I want to hear from you. Thank you again for watching, and I'll hope to see you next time.